as you know, Total Supermarket was born out of the need for a Hispanic grocery store in the area. But um, through the years, we have become a, a, a community grocery store that is focused on, on the well-being of you know, our team and in serving well to our community. So in that regard, I want to uh, the audience to know that we not only do groceries, you know, we have a, a collection of small businesses that, that makes us unique where we attract people to come and to uh, do their shopping and to take care of uh, their needs in one stop shop. For instance, we have a post office. Uh, we have an income tax and accounting services, professional income tax and accounting services that is that is part of our business model. We, of course, do the wirings and uh, we have also provided opportunity to members of the community and we have some other businesses like a, a, a lawyer from El Salvador, a, a uh, event planner, you know, a barber shop and that kind of stuff that makes us uh, a destination so people want to come. And um, I'm glad Laura did uh, her presentation first because I was gonna talk about all the things that we did to get ready for, to protect the public and to protect our, our team uh, with when the pandemic broke, broke out. And um, we did pretty much, you know, everything she mentioned on, on her presentation. Uh, we are still paying the, the, the extra bonus because, you know, I think on everybody's mind, and particularly in my heart, you know, they are the heroes. You know, they're there. They told me, stay home, don't come, you know, we'll take care of the business. We need you to, 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 to be well. So I took that for a while until I got sick of being at home and now I'm coming every day to, to, to the business. Um, in the present, we are expanding the smaller store, you know, that from 18,000 square feet to 65,000. Hope, we hope to be open in the spring, you know, because we firmly believe, and, and Laura, Laura touched on that too, you know, that um, we see our customers coming into the store like, like a, uh, a day out, a day out in the park, a day out when they bring the whole family and kids start to go all over in different directions. and. We just, you know, are there trying to make sure that everybody's safe and, and that we serve them well. So I think uh, for the Hispanic community, although we are very diverse, we are uh, diverse on the fact that we have many cultures within the culture uh, per se, you know, you can actually divide them off by country or by region. And, uh, and what we learned through the 30 years plus in business is that, you know, people want to come and they want to smell the the produce, they want to see the meat that you're gonna cut for them, you know, they want to see the cake that, that you know, when you finish putting the final touches. So uh, we hope that it's going to, um, it's going to, to continue, at least for some generations, you know, uh, the, the newer, the, the, uh, the little kids that are now uh, changing their eating habits, that's, a, that's something for the future. But for now, I think we have to, prepare ourselves for, um, looking at my notes here, uh, we need to prepare ourselves for more of the same. You know, first it's just, you know, keep our uh, employees safe, you know, keep providing all the sanitation and all the, you know, a clean store, you know, that smell like food and a little bit of organiz organization, you know, with uh, enough, Aisle, uh, wide aisles for customers to enjoy the store and keep enriching, keep enriching those stores. That's what we, what we uh, have in, in, in our future, at least for the years to come. You know, uh, one thing that I'd like to share with the audience is that what makes us also unique is that uh, I got this from my father, you know, we, we, I was born to serve and this business kind of like fed me really well. Um, and and uh, I, um, I have been involved in, in the community, whether it's a school from kindergarten to college, 
whether it's the politicians or the chamber of commerce, you know, and through those involvement, we have um, gathered a lot of loyalty from our community, whether it's the business community or the, the house, you know, the families that live uh, and, and shop in our places. And uh, I have um, found great opportunities to, uh, to serve that in turn have provided me a lot of better, greater opportunities to improve on, on, our, um, on our offering, on our stores. You know, one of those big partners is uh, UN5 that used to be uh, super valued before we, they purchased it. You know, we, we feel like, you know, there is a lot that they can learn from us and there's a lot that we can learn from them. And we take advantage of all, all those opportunities and um, I would like to say, you know, get involved in your community, find out what their needs are, and if you can help, help, you know, that um, if it's not gonna be a monetary uh, return immediately, it's actually a very um, satisfying, um, it is very rewarding, I should say, uh, to to be able to help our community to make sure that we are providing um, the support that they need, particularly in, in these days of uh, of of great needs. You know, as far as e-commerce, you know, we revisit it, we talk about it, and uh, it's a very expensive proposition. Whether you use you know manpower or use the automized uh, uh, systems, you know no matter where you look at it, it's gonna be very expensive, but there is room to do maybe like curbside, you know, uh, services uh, in, and that's pretty much that I think that I, I, um, I am committed to right now. You know, I, I, I look at the cost and e-commerce is not there for me yet. Again, going back to the fact that our customers like the shopping experience and we as, as uh, as grocery as serving, and we also love to call customers customers by their first name and talk about their family and say hello and making sure that we're all doing good. So um, I, uh, I I think my plans right now, as you can tell, you know, we're we're, we're uh, uh, planning to expand so that we can serve more people and that we, we can also give good opportunities to. Uh, our team, you know, opportunities to grow, opportunities to, you know, to improve on their income. And, um, you know, I, I want to end by, uh, you know, an experience that I have, very, I hope I have the time. I, I forgot to put my, my uh, timer, but, uh, you know, I, I was being interviewed by a magazine and they, they asked me what makes the supermarket unique. And, you know, that was a very, you know, complicated question. So I asked some people, you know, what makes us unique? Are we unique, you know? And somebody said something that I really love. You know, I loved the answer, but this was very particular because what he said is like, I love the way, I love the culture that you have in your store because it, it, you can feel that this store was born to serve the community, to serve employees, to, to protect, you know, the community. And, and, and then somebody also said, you know, like, uh, what makes us unique is that any customer that walk into our store, they feel, they know that we're fair. They know that if, that if they have a need, they can talk to us, that we're gonna try to help them every way, help them every way we can, and they feel protected. And, you know, I haven't seen it from, I mean, I haven't had the time to see it that way, but uh, but I thought it was it was very unique. So you know, I'm sharing this because it has worked wonders for me. You know, uh, we keep growing. You know, now I have to figure out how far I want to grow. You know, because I'm getting up on my years and I need to have a break one of these days. But uh, but it works wonders. You know, to to have your employees at heart to have their, their safety and their future at heart and
to have your community at heart and making sure that you're doing the best you can for them in good times and in bad times.